Hello, it's Riot Kitty, and welcome back to Back to School Sketches, a series that only airs when I go back to school to let you guys know if, you know, I upload less consistently. And as you probably guessed by the intro, today we're going to draw another anime schoolgirl, that being Taya Gardner, aka Anzu Mikasi in the sub, from Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. Now I'm just going to call her Taya Gardner because, um... I don't want to hesitate whenever I try to pronounce her last name. So, here it is. Some of you might be wondering why I have Dark Side Dimensions Taya in the thumbnail rather than the original Dual Monsters Taya. Well, that's because I just think Taya Gardner looks better in Dark Side Dimensions than she did in the original Dual Monsters anime. And, you know, I just think out of all the Dual Monsters characters, Taya Gardner benefits the most from the updated graphics digital HD thing with the modern anime aesthetic because that art style just brings out her best features. And I can legitimately say now, yes, she is a very, very beautiful woman in the Dark Side of Dimensions movie. You know, there's just certain art styles where characters just look better in them. You know, Taya Gardner looks better with an updated shiny modern anime aesthetic. And just to give you another example, I never thought Ryu from Street Fighter was ever going to be cute or handsome to me. He just looked super scrunched up and whatnot, and I'm like, eh, he's fine. But, you know, I didn't really consider him husbando material. Until I saw the Street Fighter 2 anime movie. Now with this one, it's the exact opposite. Is where a slightly dirtier art style and whatnot. Where it was in traditional animation. And they softened up his features. That actually benefited him more. Or at least in my eyes it did. And made him look more handsome. And slightly more human. So yeah, so what can I say about the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters? Well, you know, it's about a boy who finds a puzzle, he puts it back together, and now I can summon a long-dead pharaoh. So he, he literally grows older a bit whenever he duels, and he becomes more confident in himself, and that kind of a thing. And, well, for a card game anime, it didn't really follow the card game very well. Back in the earlier days, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! in the anime was much more like magic than it was Yu-Gi-Oh! Like there was land cards, there was um, certain monsters couldn't be hit by certain attacks, like you know, a guy on the ground couldn't hit a flying bird and whatnot. And then there was also this scene in in the Battle City arc where the main character attacks a spell card, which is quite amusing. Yeah, in Season 1, the Yu-Gi-Oh! card game in the show definitely seemed more like magic. And in Season 2, they, you know, dialed it back a lot. And then in Season 3, they were completely following the rules of the card game that was actually created so which is good because then people coming in from the anime wanting to play the card game with their favorite cards would not be super confused anymore and well dual monsters was the first and it was a mega success so i just kept making more Yu-Gi-Oh anime and it's the most iconic and it's Konami's preferred source of merchandise because, well, people are most likely to buy them. Even if they haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh! before, they just remember Duel Monsters and stuff. Yeah, Duel Monsters is one of those one occasion. Yes, even with the stupid 4K censorship that I can actually say the dub is 
better than this sub, you know, we got the Shadow Realm memes, but also, uh, the voice acting just feels better in the dub. I know it sounds crazy, but I, I do think that the voice acting is better in the dub. Plus, you get those wonderful finger guns. Very nice. And, you know, I, the English voices seem to be more iconic than the Japanese ones, so, I mean, that... I think that says something. Now, as for Taya, well, um, I think she actually sounds better in the sub than she does the dub because, um, now as was, I think, commonplace for four kids, for some strange reason they gave, um, you know, female secondary leads just, like, really annoying voices. But thankfully, it seems like uh, when season two came about and stuff, it was like the voice actor ironed it out and did did pretty decent job. I was always more of a my gal, anyways. I paid more attention to my than I did to Taya. And yeah, but you know what? I think she's really really cool in Dark Side Dimensions. So here I'm drawing Taya in her. Basically iconic uh, pink and blue school uniform when she wears it while she goes to school, of course. Doi. And, well, yeah. I don't know why that she and Mai haven't received fingerings yet. Honestly, Konami's just sleeping on a gold mine at this point. Well, you know, after I grew up a little bit and rewatching the Duel Monsters anime, I actually started to appreciate Taya more because, well, when I was younger, like, I didn't have a job. I wasn't going to school. I wasn't trying to be anything at that point. And so I honestly thought Taya was just kind of annoying. But then rewatching it, I started to appreciate her more. She got a job. She's trying to work hard to pay for school and and, well, she doesn't want people to find out that she worked a job where she wasn't actually old enough to work at it. And so she tried to throw Yuki and Joey out because it's like, because it's like, well, I don't want them to find out and then I'll get fired. So I guess I can sort of appreciate her actions more. Also, when uh, Yugi was kind of down in the dump, she dueled Mai to... You know, try and snap him out of it. And you know what? That's what good friends do, right? You know, they... Sometimes they just fight your battles for you and try to make you wake up. In a sense. It, she's just one of those characters I now appreciate more now that I'm working a job. I'm trying to pay for school. I'm trying to realize my dreams. So, Yeah. I, I like her better as I gotten older. Now it's time for sub versus dub. I already talked a little bit about it earlier in this video, but this is a very hotly debated topic in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, and I know some people will be clicking on this video because there is a Yu-Gi-Oh! character in the thumbnail. So, dual monsters, sub versus dub. Well, this is my opinion. If you want the full and complete package with all the story elements intact, then you can watch the sub. But if you want the meme potential and to understand the Yu-Gi-Oh memory, as well as better voice acting, you know, actually the censorship doesn't really damage the story too much, except sometimes, you know, with the finger gun thing, like it's like, wait, why are you feeling threatened by my finger gun? then you go to the dub. Now, Yu-Gi-Oh! does have a card game, and I do play the card game. And, well, my favorite monster out of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters continuity has to be Paladin Oracle Mahad. You know, the effect is nice, and then the artwork looks awesome, but, you know, the thing that makes it my favorite card is that, well, the story behind it. Now, this guy was actually a human, you know. And where Yu-Gi-Oh! shines the most is telling its story through the cards, and 
especially like the rebooted like blue eyes and dark magician archetypes so they essentially told this guy's story in reverse he sacrificed himself to save his people and he became dark magician eventually so and then in the dark side dimensions movie he saves the reincarnation of his king um from annihilation and that was just a very very good moment uh, and with that this back to school sketches comes to a close thank you all guys for tuning in and, well, whenever I have a chance to upload again, I'll see you guys again. I'm definitely not quitting YouTube anytime soon.